Hello everyone. Today, we're diving into Wi-Fi. Specifically, we'll be looking at channel width. We're comparing 20 MHz and 40 MHz channel widths. Which one gives you better range? Let's find out. Wi-Fi uses different channels. These channels are like lanes on a highway. Channel width is how wide each lane is. 20 MHz channels are narrower. 40 MHz channels are wider. So, what's the difference in performance? Let's start with range. Generally, 20 MHz channels offer better range. This is because a narrower signal is less susceptible to interference. Think of it like this. A smaller car can navigate a bumpy road easier. A wider signal, like a 40 MHz channel, needs a clearer path. Obstacles weaken the signal. Walls, furniture, and even people can cause interference. This interference reduces the range of the 40 MHz channel. However, 40 MHz channels can provide faster speeds. More bandwidth means more data can be transmitted at once. It's like having more lanes on the highway. More cars can pass through simultaneously. So, if you're close to your router, 40 MHz might be a better choice. You'll get faster speeds for downloading, streaming, and online gaming. But if you're further away, 20 MHz might be more reliable. It might not be as fast, but it will maintain a more stable connection. Consider your environment. Is your home or office crowded with other Wi-Fi networks? If so, 20 MHz might be better. Less interference will improve your connection quality. If you're in a rural area with fewer competing signals, 40 MHz might work well. Experiment with both settings. Use a Wi-Fi analyzer app to check signal strength. Test your speeds with online speed tests. See which setting works best for your specific situation. Keep in mind that some older devices may not support 40 MHz channels. If you have older devices, sticking with 20 MHz ensures compatibility. Newer devices usually support both. It's important to check your router settings. Most routers allow you to choose the channel width. Some even have an auto setting. This setting automatically selects the best channel width. However, manual selection often provides better results. Consider the trade-offs between range and speed. There's no one-size-fits-all answer. It depends on your environment, devices, and needs. Don't be afraid to experiment and find what works best for you. Choosing the right channel width can significantly improve your Wi-Fi experience. So, that's the difference between 20 MHz and 40 MHz. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing. It really helps support the channel. Let us know in the comments which channel width you prefer and why. We appreciate your support.